All right, let's write some reactions in aqueous solution. I believe these are uh, all going to be double replacement reactions. Here's our uh, solubility rules, uh, very generalized for our reference. All right, so we're asked to write the complete um, ionic equation and the net ionic equation, so let's do it. Calcium hydroxide is um, Ca. Calcium is a two positive uh, charge cation, and hydroxide is OH. It's a polyatomic ion with a one negative charge. Um, that's why I put parentheses around here, because I'm going to need two hydroxides. All right? Without that parentheses, it, it just looks like I have two hydrogens and uh, one oxygen. Erase those charges. They don't belong in the formula. Uh, let's indicate AQ uh, for solution. Phosphoric acid is, uh, all these acids are going to be in, um, in water, aqueous. So that's H3, PO4, that's given. And that's going to produce, all right, so let's switch the cations. Draw this arrow. I'm trying to conserve space because these often um, stretch out. All right, so we're going to switch the cations. And um, so we'll do calcium phosphate. All right, calcium, um, put the polyatomic ion in parentheses because we're going to have two of those. All right, because calcium is a two positive charge and phosphate is a three negative charge. Let's crisscross those. So it'd be Ca3 and then two phosphates. Okay. And this is going to be a, this is going to be a precipitate. So I'll put uh, S for solid. Um, so if you need to refer to your um, solubility rules, uh, phosphates are generally insoluble. All right, and the, uh, the um, H is going to switch place with the calcium and end up with the OH. That's just H2O. But rather than writing it H2O, I'm going to write HOH for now because it'll it might help us balance it all right and h2o is a liquid um, all right so let's let's balance this i'm gonna use a slightly different shade here um, yeah better show our work on this one Get some all right so calcium hydroxide uh, these polyatomic ions are not changing on either side, so I'm just going to keep it in uh, their form. Instead of writing O and H, I'm going to keep OH on one line because it's all right, hydrogen and the phosphate polyatomic ion over there. All right, and just in the same order so I can compare them easily side by side and all right, let's count them up. On the, on the reactant side, I have one calcium, two hydroxides, three hydrogens, and one phosphate. On the product side, I have three calciums, uh, one, hy one hydroxide, and um, one hydrogen right there, and two phosphates. All right, let's multiply where we see calcium on the reactant side by three, so we get three on both sides. Okay. Got to use coefficients, and let's not forget to update the hydroxide. So also multiply that by 3, and we're going to have 6. Let's go over to the right, add a 6 there, so we can balance the hydroxides. All right now, don't forget, we need to update that hydrogen as well. So let's multiply that by 6. All right, back to the left, hydrogen, and this is going to do it. Multiply that by two. It's connected to that one, and so we are good with that. I just put a one there just for visual uh, visualness. All right, now everywhere we see uh, AQ, or uh, um, those ions are going to dissociate. Um, so let's let's do that. I'm going to have to go back and forth a little bit here. Uh, you know, hold on. Let me just copy this. All 
Nice. Okay. That was easy. And so there's a. Um, this is going to uh, dissociate. So we have three calciums, two positive, a Q plus three hydroxides. In solution, um, rather, sorry, there's going to be six of them. All right, three times the two, it's going to be six. Um, and then there's uh, six hydrogen uh, protons and two phosphates. Wow, already used up half my screen. All right, well, the right side, the product side, is not going to be changed. Um, so, all right, I'm going gonna, gonna to just shift it down over here. Um, just write that. If it, if it doesn't have a, a Q for aqueous, it's not going to dissociate. So we'll just make sure we copy that correctly. I'm going to write H2O now that we're done. Right, so there's your uh, complete and net ionic equation because nothing is going to cancel out on either side. Um, and all the charges should balance. All right, let's, you know, got a, a, a six positives there, six negatives there. Oh, they're going to cancel out because they were. Anyway, you can check your work, and that's your answer. This is your uh, complete and net ionic equations.